Hey, how's it going? And today I just wanted to show you how you could quickly get started in Unreal Engine with a Paragon player character. And this, these are pretty neat characters. So to get started with this, I'm just going to go into games third person and I'll just call it my project too. And we'll just create it real fast. If we search for these Paragon characters are actually loaded with assets that if you can kind of resurrect them and repurpose them, you could create a perfectly amazing game. So there's one I think called Paragon. This is the one I was looking at. So once our project is created, we just go add to project and then we'll just come here to and just add it to the project. And it just takes a minute. There's quite a few assets in there. Okay. And then once it's loaded up, we can just come in here to my project too. And we're just going to go to edit window, default editor layout and click content drawer dock and layout dock and layout and come up here and you'll notice if we look over on the left side we've got this paragon wrath and we've got a character in here and there he is under heroes and if we click he's in here now there's an animation test map and i'll go ahead and click into it and if i hit play you notice we're getting an error and that's because the input actions are out of date so i've done a few tutorials about this and just to kind of jump start into this what we can do is just so we can get this working actually what i can do is i think i can just disconnect this here because i don't i may want to come back and add these functions so i guess i got to disconnect all of these here Let's see do i still get errors there so let me just let me just get rid of these nodes then and that should get rid of the errors because it's looking for something it can't find so it's going to keep giving me a warning but at least i have that functionality there and i can fix it if i want to so here's primarily where we're getting our errors right here and they have changed in unreal engine to what they call enhanced input actions but this is using the old way of doing it so what we're going to do is we're just going to go with the old way and we're going to come into project settings which still works and we'll go to project settings and we're going to go to input actions here and you'll see where it says it's deprecated and what i can do is i know i need one action mapping so i'll click that once i know i need four access mapping so i'll go one two three four and they're right there and i can open these up now you can reference over here i've just i've undocked this window but this is what we need so we need a jump up here i'm just going to type in jump it has to be spelled exactly jump and then here I'm going to need a turn and so the input access we don't need to spell that we just need to spell this word here so it's going to be turn and then the next one is going to be look up so just just type it exactly look up and then we have just a, two more which are move forward and move right so we'll just go move forward and then move right and then all we have to do is assign some values to these so for jump what you do is you click this once and then you press on your keyboard what you want to connect up so this is a space bar so i'll just hit space bar and it links up automatically. Now for um, turn, what we're going to do is I'm going to click here and I want the mouse and then I click it again. I left clicked and I click it till it turns yellow and we actually, it's not the left mouse button we want. We want here mouse, we want mouse X is what we want for that. And then the scale for that is just one. So this is all correct. Now for lookup, I'll click that. Click this right here once. Click it again. And here this is going to be mouse X, uh, mouse Y, excuse me. And this is going to be a value of negative one. And then we just have three more to do or four more to do. So here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add here, we'll click that till it turns yellow. 
and the button that we want is W, so just press that on your keyboard, and that's going to be a value of 1. And then we click here, and it turns yellow, and we press S on the keyboard, and the value we want this to be is negative 1. And then we'll go to move right, we'll add a mapping there. We'll click on here until it turns yellow. Here on the keyboard, just press A. And the value that we want for A is negative 1. And then the last one is we click here until it turns yellow. And this is D. We press on the keyboard, and that's 1. And that's all we have to do. So I can close this. And, oops, I hit the wrong button. I want to, I want the event graph. Well, when you lose it like that, here, oh, here it is. Then we'll click there. Sorry about that. So what we can do is hit compile and notice how we don't get any more errors. Now if I come into the animation test map and I go play, here he comes in with all his uh, functionality. And if you hit both keys at one time, see how he's strafing there? So everything is uh, is working fine. We have a fully, and see how he tilts even? So he's working just fine. Now let's say we escape out of here. There's not much going on in this level. So what we can do is just come up here and go to new level. And we can go into open world and go create and save what we've done. And then just come up here and go to windows and go to world settings. And here under game override we can switch it to bp third person game mode and then here we can just swap out our character here with our wrath player character and if i hit play now he's in this world with all his animations and everything and now if he runs there he goes so now he's running around in here now the next step in here would be to, if I hit the left mouse button, you see how he can shoot his gun? So if we wanted to add that visual effect, I can show you how to do that in the next tutorial. But right now this at least gets you started with getting a character, a pretty cool looking player character into an open world running around. And then it's a good starting point to start playing your game. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.